Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Feed the Beast. As always, I'm your Owen. Last time we had built up this giant skyscraper. Off camera, I had made a spot for berries. I didn't realize that was going to one punch it. Whoopsies. As you notice, it actually will reharvest. The entrance is actually through here. So this is where all my berries are going to grow. I'm going to drop down here and do an underground one there. And it's going to be a ladder up here that will do my nether berries. So I do have all the berries. I went through and planted everything. Uh, I don't have any watermelon. And I don't have enough minimum shards to do a minimum stone just yet. So we're going to have to wait on the watermelon. However, that is not what we are doing today. Today we are going to do another build episode. We are going to build us our tower, or at least start it. Uh, how I'm going to do the tower this time around, uh, it's going to be a little more boxy. It's not going to be as circular. I'd have to actually extend this out. You know what? No. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's just make it circular. I like the idea of a circle tower. Did I? Okay, I just want to make sure I did that one right. And then we've got there, there, there. And then there. Aw. There and there. As you can see, I have decided on making it out of smooth stone, which is very sandstone heavy. Very sand heavy, I should say. Because it takes four pieces of sand to make one sandstone. And then after that, it is, you know, it's one to one ratio for sandstone and smooth sandstone. But we are going to get into Thumbcraft. Or at least I'm going to get into Thomcraft. A lot of this will be done off camera. Um, a lot of the research. Uh, I will kind of give like a synopsis of when I do a big research off screen. Things that I've gotten and all that good noise. So instead of making this to where it's accessible by staircase from like the inside. It's actually going to be accessible from a rail. What we're going to do is we're going to build up each level, adding on to it as we go. It may not all be smooth sandstone. It may. And then each level is going to have a rail system that goes up to it. So I'm thinking five. One, two, three, four, five. Floor. Ow. So this is what it's going to be. Um... This first floor is going to be where our research table is, because that is, you know, that's where you start. Come on, smooth sandstone. I don't want regular sandstone. Now, I did make quite a bit of smooth sandstone to, to get ready for this, but... <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video here, and we're going to go around in circles. So I will see you in a bit. And thus, we have entered our first floor of our Thom room. Now, I am going to have to do another little build section here soon. Because I am going to need to build a bridge over to here. Now, what I'm going to make that material out of, I'm not 100% positive just yet. As you can see, we're kind of... This is the true light. <laughs> Okay, so we definitely want two torches there. Probably gonna want a torch there and a torch there. 
just like that. There we go. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one there so it matches. Yeah. Okay, that should be enough light, I hope. Um the pro <coughs> Uh, and the advantage disadvantage is not having smooth lighting on it. You can kind of tell it's like right here. It seems like it doesn't want to be lit up very well for some reason. And if we go into cheaty mode here, we notice that the light level is like eight nine. Going basing it over like here. You see right here LC. So it doesn't, and I do believe that it needs to be like six in order to spawn. I think it might be seven, so I might be wrong there. Uh, luckily, we haven't had anything spawning in our base, especially being I forgot to put lights on the roof here. Apparently, it doesn't look like it needs them. Oh well, what we'll do, we'll still put them up there. I think we need them, just to be safe. Like I said, there is going to be a second floor here, as well as a basement. Uh, and there it starts. Uh, I guess what I can do is I can actually show you what I meant by doing a orberry bush. Um, I'm not positive as to what kind of floor and bridge I want to do over there, so I'm going to... I'm going to wait on that for a little bit. And what I am going to do is get rid of that cheaty screen. Get a weapon out in case I need it. How many arrows do I have? 14. That works. Okay. So I have 47 stone brick slabs. I need a ladder. Which I don't think I have much ladder. Does not look it. Um, derp. There we go. I don't really need a lot of ladder, but it's good to have like extra. That's how I've always felt anyway. So what I'm going to show you is what I mean by. spawning um getting this in <clears throat> so what, basically what it's going to look like I can actually do it here real quick as an example this is going to be half slabs pretending this is all half slab there's going to be a row right here of cobblestone and then I can come up here and I can just go click I want that 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 and that is where all the orberry bushes will be. Now, right now, I'm going to light it up. I'm going to make sure it's all lit up. That way, so, you know, nothing spawns while I'm waiting. But right here, I'm going to take that out. Um, hey, look at iron. Thinking, is that going to be enough? No, I'm going to do here. Okay. I will come through and get this iron later. Um, all these, these random resources that I tend to find, um, which happen a lot, actually. Oh, I'm not in... My first instinct was to jump and look for mystic grass because of the storm. Um... If you guys will remember from my stream, you'll uh, you should remember that um, Mystic Grass becomes energized during storms, in which case you use that moment to I don't know. We can always extend it later. In which that's how you get seeds and even better drops from the Mystic Grass. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do the organization part just yet. Yeah, I'm going to have to go up this way. Cause... 
Uh, let's go back like two more, I think. Okay. That seems reasonable. <clears throat> So, one, two, three, four, five. I gotta go back five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh man, guys. Wow. Um. Options. Let's turn this sound down a little bit. It sounds like a real storm blowing out there, doesn't it? Snow. That I've got that little tunnel hole thing I dug. This is how I can tell how deep I have to go. I wait until I see that, and ta-da, I found myself my distance. My voice is a little off today. Uh, I'm sorry for that, guys. It's, I don't know, it's the normal recording. You know how I am. I was able to turn on spec some animations. I did turn on the water animation, and I did turn on the lava animations, simply just so I can I know what direction they're flowing. Otherwise, it looks like still lo still liquid, but is actually flowing some direction. Until I get until I get to a point where I feel like I need a certain animation, I will probably keep it off. Uh, for instance, I don't think I need redstone animations. I don't need portal animations. Um, I know when a portal is done. So. That'll come with, you know, that's that's a thing. Uh, as soon as I get a better computer, I will, you know, start doing better quality videos, better render distances, better um, animation, stuff like that. But for now, this is what we're going to deal with. And all this stone will give us ample supply for what I'm hoping to do here. Okay, so let's put our I really can't put it on the ground, can I? There we go. Now, like I said, as you guys will remember, nothing can spawn on uh, bottom half slabs. So now, regardless of how dark this area is, nothing will spawn down here. And just to kind of prove my point, I guess, I'm going to turn these off. So now we have this wall right here. Is there any way I can like... Okay. So now what I can do is I come over here. Well hello there creeper. How are you doing today? Not what I wanted. He's gonna blow. Oh, Not really much for explosion animations either. Which is alright. Slimes galore. Oh, he jumped over my arrow. Back off. Ow. Oh, his dying body actually hit me. What kind of nonsense is that? Now, I might actually start using this blue slime for stuff. Because it seems like... Well, it's it's definitely in a... High supply, that's for sure. I don't need mobs in my house. Um, what I, oh, I came out here to go grab me some ore bushes. If I'm not mistaken, I put my ore bushes in here. I have a bunch of them. Ugh. Okay. 
It's just one random slime. Zombie over in the distance. Ugh, okay. So, now when you come down here, ta-da, nothing has spawned, and it is super dark. So now what I can do is I can kind of go... Let's see, I have two iron bushes, so let's go... Right there and right there. So there's my iron. And actually, I can just kind of go like this. And then put my copper right there. And I think I got one essence berry. And as I need to, I can continue expanding them. I can move them around. I could have also went through and put... Um, I'll show you that with the essence or berry, I guess. I could have gone like this. Put a nice little row here. And a little topper there. Was that too that was too far? And then just kind of put it right. Put it right there. And then I have rows of more berry bushes. Which actually sounds like a better plan. I might do that instead. Okay. Thinking ahead. Now, I don't know if it has to be on stone or if it can be on dirt. I don't remember. Well, I think it has to be on stone, at least. So I don't think it can be on dirt. Not what I wanted. Okay, so... Let's go right here. This will be iron. Let's get these back together so I have them. Which means I don't need that shelf. And then my cobblestone go. Cobblestone. I've got three copper, so we'll go like this. This topper prevents anything from spawning on top of them. I could later go through here. Get a little... I won't be able to jump on that. But I could, instead of having these here, I could put another bush on top of them. And then we've got one essence. And now if I get more resources, I can just go two out this way, get half slab, half slab floor, and uh, do that. Or if I need more room, I can go backwards this way if I need to. kind of want to just make it as dark as possible, but I don't think this is going to matter, is it? No. And I don't think I have the wood to do that anyway if I wanted to try it out, but I don't think a trap door would change that any. As you can see, our raspberry bushes are already growing. I do have a spot right here for uh, strawberry. Let's go through and I'll show you this, how our things are growing. I'm doing alright. Um, I was worried at first uh, because the cotton was growing funny. And the barley is too. You see there's like spots that don't want to grow. And I don't know if it's because it's too dark or what. So I'm kind of just giving it time. Um, I'm not like in any dire need for the food. So it's... It'll come when it comes, is basically my way of looking at it. And this is the first time I've gone through this tower with difficulty on, so I'm kind of worried about mobs spawning somewhere. Uh, this will be kind of my my way to know if that happens. And as you see, I'm doing an alright job of filling out the the random foods. Or at least I believe I am.
I don't need to eat the carrot, thank you. I've got plenty of... I don't know why I'm not eating bread. I have it on me. Each floor has a chest and a crafting table. Just in the off chance I need it. Ah, here we go. Like right here. Which is weird because it's, it's not like it's that far from light. It's just as far as this one is. And this one's already pink. So this cotton is just growing really funny. Uh, it'll be a lot better when it actually starts going. Again, no watermelon. Sad face. Right here we have our pumpkins. Which is sweet. We have quite a few more pumpkins growing. As you see, I did add a little bit more lights to the areas. Just to have it... Come on. Just to have it, I have these torches here to stop the pumpkins from growing onto this part right here. It messes everything up. Looks weird. Um, I just need one pumpkin to turn into seeds. And then I can throw that in there. And we can now plant the other side. This is kind of what I was waiting for. Okay. And I'll throw the pumpkin. And this is what I meant by keeping storage in similar areas. You know, this is where all my pumpkin stuff will be. My wheat, my barley, my cotton. Sugarcane, as you can see, is just... I don't even need... I don't, I don't even worry about what drops into the water. I mean, if it drops in the water, it drops in the water. Okay. But you see... Even not necessarily grabbing what drops in the water... I come out with just short of a stack. I think I got like three, maybe four pieces I missed. And now the important one. Well, kind of a pseudo important. Cactus. Again, I don't know if having that air block there matters or if I could have grown it with one layer down. Ow, ow. You know, this. The one problem is still dealing with the fact that, well, it's a cactus. It's going to poke you. But I'm definitely able to collect cactus a lot easier and then just kind of come out this way and drop it off. Already over a, over a half a stack of cactus. A full sack of sugar cane. Uh, next episode, I will have decided what kind of bridge I want to do. I'm thinking probably just doing a, a you know, your generic. Uh, I gotta go put a chest down there. Ugh, I look forward to that. I'll put it in the. Talking to myself, I was debating on how I'm gonna do a chest because if I put a chest down here. I run the risk of there being a spot to spawn. Unless I put like... I don't know. I think I can do it. Not a problem. I just put... I'll we'll put it what? Right here? Actually, we'll put it right here. Because then we'll go... Well, no, because the chest goes, the chest will go right here, so this becomes a half slab, and that can't stay there because that's good. All right, just for continuity's sake, I can put a chest right there, and that's where I will hold all my orberry bushes. I can hear another slime dancing around. So I don't understand why a mob spawned here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put torches next to my house spot. <sighs> it seems like these slimes will spawn anywhere. I mean, luckily we didn't really... I mean, we're out of lava in this spot, so... Okay. 
So I'm going to have to go through and pick all this stuff back up, and I will. Um, I still got a few minutes, so I will show you something that I found. Uh, while I was collecting sand... Hey, come here. I need to get quartz to make this better. While I was collecting sand for our um, first level of our tower, I heard some weird noise. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to make this island a little bit bigger. Just so it, you know, I don't have a problem with it. Ooh, maybe while I'm out here in the nighttime, I can uh, kill something and get a minimum stone. I do gotta be careful because I don't want creepers. So one thing I don't want to deal with. So I was over here. You can see I've kind of been tearing this place apart, and uh. Gotta be careful there. Looks like there's a gold skelly over there. There's a lot of skellies over there. I'm sure you can hear it. Oh, but that's a lava pit. Actually, is what that is. Okay, there's a lot of mobs that spawned right there. And that kind of worries me. Definitely want to stay away from that. Don't. Okay, he didn't see me. So this new speed of my game is kind of nice, being able to... Is that a mini? Or is that just a regular zombie? I think that's just a regular zombie. Or it could be a mini. Oh, that's an angry. And a creeper is sitting right there, so I don't want him to be... Him to see me. Come here. Oh yeah, I'm not scared of you now. Oh my, what? No. Hmm. But anyway, guys. Um. Now that I'm done, I'm not really done monster hunting. I'll never be done monster hunting. Whoa! -ha -ha. But uh, <laughs> oh, now that I've I've shown you how um how I'm, you know the fruits of our labor, I've shown you how to how I'm gonna do the berries. How I'm doing, uh, I showed you the start of, yay, I showed you the start of, come on, get up there, our Thomcraft Tower, I, I will be continuing that, I'll figure out a floor and I will figure out a bridge, and then probably get a little bit of research done uh, before I start on the next floor, but after that, um, next episode, I will show off a little bit of researching. You do, uh, you should, if you have seen some of my older stuff, you do know how the researching works and all that. But I'm careful that creeper right there. Um, next week we will be starting working on this. I will have gotten it all ready for you, and you'll see just exactly what it is I have planned for right there. Exciting. And also, I'm gonna kind of terraform just a little bit more. Because I kind of want to start building out in this direction. You know, out into there maybe. Maybe coming up over here. I don't know. But I've got... Looks like a cow with a box on his head. Slime. What in... Stainless pot. That's all that said. Hmm. Oh, you've got... Cool glasses on. Okay, I need to get out of here before I kill all my cows. Um, I am going to have a weapon that is looting that is meant for my cows, strictly. It's just going to be a simple stone, a stone sword. But um, maybe I'll put a cow head on it if I can cleave their heads. But anyway, this episode went longer than I intended for it to be. Ah! Uh, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Um, like I said, next episode we will be working on 
um, we will be finishing up Thomcraft or the beginning of Thomcraft anyway, where I'll be doing a little bit of research. Um, I'll also have a bridge, and uh, yeah, we'll start working on getting whatever this is. So you have today and you have tomorrow to figure out what is going right here. What could I possibly have planned for a square of water and pieces of dirt sticking out? Thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Happy gaming, guys.